So what we're doing today is fitting a UPVC door. If you come in here, what we've got is these tiles. So if you look at the depth of these tiles, how thick they are, it come, when we fit in the door, this is what you call a low, low threshold aluminium frame. So what I've done, I've put a little bit of plastic underneath there. Can you see it underneath? I've siliconed the plastic down to the brickwork on a couple of beads of silicon, did the edges, and then I've put more silicon on the top and then we've put this whole frame on top of that. So now that is like perfectly level there, so it's completely sealed underneath there, underneath and on top of the plastic. So we've done that. We've squared all the frame up, screwed it in, put four screws here, one, two, three, four. What I did, I did the top one and the bottom one first. And then I did the top one here, there, and the bottom one down there, nice and square. Nice and square. And then I did the middles on there. So I've got four on each side. And on this side, on the uh, the lock side, you have these little plastic caps. You have to, you have to take these off. And the screw just goes behind there, if you're wondering where they go. Mm -hmm. So we've got sort of two in the middle, one at the top, one at the bottom, and these can just go back in. They just clip back in. So when you close the door, it sort of drags on the bottom. You can feel it dragging on the bottom. Yeah, it does look as though it's catching a bit. So the next thing we need to do is take these beads off. We'll put the glass part, we don't worry about the bottom because it's plastic. Put the glass in the top, we'll get it toe and healed. And that should square the door up. Yeah. So all the beads have been taken out on this top one. Leave that black bit in there. Yeah, and the sticker as well has come off. So we just put the beads there. And the glass. Here's the glass. So taking off all the, the sticky pads, don't leave them on. And that. Stick a piece of paper there, we'll left that on because that goes on the outside. Okay, so we're all ready. Whatever. Plastic. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm proud of you. Breathing. That's the bottom. Well, that's for the bottom. That's good, I did. Yeah. You can not see much out there, will you? Hey. Yeah. That's really good, isn't it, that? Right then, stage two, coming up. So what we've just done is toe and healed it. So we've just towed it at the top, I don't know if you can see that there. So can you see, we've got some of these patches here. It's all different colours. And we've used the grey packers. The grey ones there, I'll put the grey ones in. Yeah, so I've got one there top and I've got one there. So I've got one there. Can you see that? And there's one there and that bottom on the heel we've got blue ones in there. We've got a blue one in there and a blue one there. But which way around should they go? Yeah. yeah so when you put when you're putting these in you've got like a grippy side. That grippy side. That goes towards the grippy side on the, there's some black ones inside there and the grippy side goes on the black ones, against the black one. So you've got two grippy sides on each other so it keeps them in place, stops this one here, for example, sliding down. So it keeps the door like sort of square, rather than the, if this is your hinge side, rather than the door dropping, the glass actually keeps it up, keeps it square. Yeah. And so now we've done that, what we're going to do now is put the beads in. These, what we do with them is, when you get to the end, don't bang the glass, just put your mallet on the glass. There you go, we're in. I mean, I know this is like a black hammer, really, you're supposed to have a white mallet. 
but we haven't got a white one so and the reason you have a white one is because generally you're fitting white plastic do you that one? Last one there. Oh, no. It's okay. That's tight. There you go. Hang on. It seems what you like. No, I don't think. Did you get it from left and right there? I don't know which one it was, where did it? Well, one's on the left and one's on the right. I don't know. But <laughs> two different sizes. Oh, they shouldn't be, should they? So what's just happened is we put the beads, when you get uh, UPV so pass me the other one, Mel. Yeah. So that's the left. When you, when you have your doors, your limit, or windows, these go in exactly the way you've taken them out. So if it's on the left, it comes out, goes back in on the left. If it's on the right, it goes back in on the right. Because they are slightly they're made to measure. So we just put one in the wrong. Yeah. And this one, we put in there. So that one was then too long for going there. And once you've done that, it's a bit of a nightmare to get out. And the easiest way to get them out, what I've found, if you get a knife, it has to be a real sharp, good knife. Not a kitchen knife, like a real sharp pen knife. If you put it on the gap, I'll show you here. So if you put it on the gap there, like that, on the edge, knock it in, like that, and then give it a tap. You get it out. You can see the bead coming out there now. Look. Yeah. Once you get, once you get it a bit more than that. Yeah. Then what you need is a bit of timber. Oops. Bit of timber. Bit of timber. Don't out. tap it that long. A bit shorter. Put it on the top of there and then give it a tap and knock it out. Brilliant. There we go, we'll carry on. Right, so we've managed to get all the beads in. Well we had a bit of a problem first. We, that bead was that bead was longer than that one, so I had to swap them over. So make sure you keep your left and rights in the right place. <laughs> so we did that, got that in. Uh, the bottom one was quite as simple. We didn't really have to toe and heel this one, it's only like a insulated panel. So basically what we did, we put some spaces, we did space it out, just keep it nice and even. We sort of did toe and heal it a bit, but uh, most of the toe and healing comes off the main piece of glass at the top. So that's all fitted there, got all the beads in. And come this way, because I've locked that door now. What we've done, or what she, Mal has done, what Mal's mm -hmm. done, she's siliconed up here, up sides, but without a silicon we've run out, we've nothing left. So she's got like halfway there, halfway up here and siliconed underneath there. Yeah. Move the flag, it's all nice and waterproof now. So tomorrow, the only thing we'll do tomorrow now is put some uh, timber strips up here. So on this side here, just cover that, cover that. I'll show you what. Thing. What I'm talking about is when I say timber strip, it's easy. So, bits of timber cut into shape around there, hook them in, silicon them up, and then it'll be job done. You need, yeah. to, put, you need to put them in because if you look, you get all beasties down the side. See? Yeah. So, you've got to put some strips up because if you don't, you can get wasps. Going in yeah, there and that's right. the wasp before you know it, you'll have wasp nests. Yeah. Yeah. Now we don't need to adjust that door, do we? But we did on the patio doors, don't we, Shane? How did we do that? Come on. Uh, you have to take the No, I'm going to adjust it tomorrow slightly. Right. Yeah. What you need to okay. do is what you have to do is you have to slide these caps off. You have to undo that first, slide the caps off, and then adjust it. Yes. We'll do that tomorrow. But it only needs a little teeny bit of adjustment. It's quite good actually. Yeah. The, the glasses there, uh, straighten it out. So there you go, all done. You have some tea now. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.